bring on board uh, CA Rudra Murthy to understand where the markets are headed from here on. A uh, very good afternoon to you, Rudra. Thank you so much for joining us on ET Now. And let's talk about the market setup and how is it looking to you? Because after uh, you saw a, a good rally in the markets, then you saw a correction. Now it looks like the markets are in a consolidatory phase, right? We have been seeing range-bound trade through the course of the week. Now Nifty is at least above the 22,500 mark. Good afternoon. Thank you for having me in the show. First of all, a word on market. Definitely bears are butchered. All those people who shorted market, market gave a very swift rally from those levels of 21,800 to now levels of around 22,600, 700 zone. And bears have been definitely slaughtered in this market. But however, right now at this point of time, having seen the negative data from US and also chart patterns today for a very short time frame, if you see either a one hour chart or a 30 minute chart, I am able to see definite patterns of profit booking. So my clear suggestion when it comes to index and overall market is, this is the time definitely to book profits and take some trading gains. I'm not talking at 21,800, but we are now at 22,700 zone. So at current level, I will definitely advise profit booking, be very stock specific in this market. I will not recommend for short term trading any fresh buying in general. You have to be very stock specific in this market. Is your view the same when it comes to the Nifty small cap index because that index has been touching new highs. In fact, today also it touched a new high, new intraday highs at least. So what's your view when it comes to the small cap space? See, for me, both mid and small cap representing the broader market, Sumit tells to me that yes, this is the time to shift from stocks where you may not find good value to stocks where there is value shift to stocks where there is margin of safety and yes in fact i will start shifting from mid and small cap to large cap at this point of time because at current levels i don't see comfort in mid and small cap no doubt they have given stellar returns in last one year and you have seen at index level returns of 50 60 percent both mid and small cap and if you see broader market many stocks have even gone up five ten times but at this point of time from now on to future I definitely recommend switching to quality, switching to value, have higher margin of safety, move to large cap and then ensure your portfolio is definitely taken care in terms of this guard what I need at current price in market. As you're saying that we should sh uh, shift to stocks where, the, where there is margin of sa safety. Among large caps, uh, yesterday we saw Kotak Mahindra Bank down around 10 odd percent. The margin of safety in that stock is also high, but then there are fundamental reasons why uh, the stock was down. So, uh, and today it's Bajaj Finance. They are expecting a slower growth for FY25. The margin of safety on both these stocks are, uh, I guess, uh, at a proper level. But uh, technically, how are you seeing both these counters in trade? Beautiful question, Sumit. As you have only mentioned, we are now very, very stock specific in this market. And yes, fundamentally, there were reasons for Kotak Bank to come down and even Bajaj Finance. But what I want to tell you is this is the market where you have to be very stock specific. Alpha can be generated only through right stock selection now. However, one year back, buy any stock, you would have made money. And as Buffett says, right, you will only know who is swimming naked only when the wave goes off. That is the time right now when you have to be very stock specific. And for me, example, look at stock like Reliance. At current level, I will be a buyer in Reliance. For me, there is a lot of margin of safety because stock has consolidated for a long time right now. And now it is giving that kind of a breakout and that kind of a comfort. Look at SBI, for example, another stock where even at current market price, I have comfort. So you have to be very stock specific, picking stocks like Reliance, as I told, SBI is another good counter. And even if you go for mid and small cap or even for broader market, larger mid cap still have a lot of value. I'll give you names like Power Grid, where I still see value, especially coming to Power Theme. Look at even stocks like NTPC. Look at power financing companies like PFC, REC, even at current level. Even for me, larger PSUs, mid and small cap PSUs still have value. And you have to be stock specific. Some of the names I've already given to you. And yes, this market is a stock pickers market from now on. And lighten your trading positions, especially if you are a short term trader. You have to take care of your risk management. You have to take care of your position sizing. And most important, take care of your leverage. 
And uh, what is your view when it comes to the Nifty IT index? Uh, in the month of April, if you see Nifty IT index is the only index to be uh, down in trade around two and a half percent. It's down. So, are you expecting the Nifty IT that the IT index has now bottomed out here? Fabulous question, Sumit. Thank you so much for so good questions what you are giving me. And let me tell you, yes, if you are a bull and you want to buy this market, go to IT. IT will be my top sector because we have margin of safety there. I feel this quarter results, whatever you have seen, starting even from InfiTCS to even stocks like Tech Mahindra and Wipro right now, I feel IT is getting that signs of bottoming out both fundamentally as well as on chart. I will be a buyer in Wipro. I will be a buyer in HCL technology. I will be a buyer also on every dips to Tech Mahindra. Might be yes, because of results today it is up already 8%. Any dip in Tech Mahindra is a buy. I will still buy Wipro. I will still buy HCL technology at these levels. IT as a sector will be my top pick at current levels for someone who wants to buy this market. Uh, so that's uh, the take coming on the IT index. Very simple question, Rudra, that I will ask you. Not uh, great questions like Savit. Just want to know what are your top picks there in the markets. You've actually spoken about a lot of stocks. But out of those uh, stocks, which are these top two bets or top two trading ideas that you are going to implement now? Thank you so much. Simple question but difficult to answer. I am picking Reliance as my top buy call at current price. And for a short term trade, one can definitely go long in futures, looking at targets of 3000 to come on Reliance with a stop loss of 2920. And if I have to buy another stock which looks very good and attractive to me on chart is SBI card. SBI card after the consolidation, now it has given a clear, clear breakout and I'm even expecting good numbers to come today and stock is available at a good risk reward ratio. Around 750-55 zone, it's a great buy. Look at targets of around 800-820 to come on SBI card with a stop loss of 730. And I am also picking one short call that will be a sell call on Maruti. It has stretched too much. I know, yes, Maruti is now not at 8,000 or 7,000. It has moved like a mid-cap, small-cap stock. And I don't see much move happening from current level for a very short-term trade. I am looking at shorting Maruti with a stop loss of 13,150 and for a target of 12,300 which is about 700 points below current market price. So this is a positional sell call on Maruti and even one more sell call I have to pick in this market is Indus India Bank. I am not happy with the numbers. Stock is definitely trading weak and I am seeing built up in open interest on the negative side for the stock. So one can even look at shorting Indus India Bank and looking at targets of 1430 to 1400 on Indus India Bank positionally. So too long and too short call for traders. Buy on Reliance and SBI card. Sell on Maruti and Indus India Bank. All right, so that's uh, the call, uh, stock calls coming in from Rudra. Thank you so much uh, for joining us, Rudra Muthi, for uh, taking our viewers to the trade that one should play in the markets and also sharing your top bets. And yes, remember that Rudra did say that he's very bullish on the IT sector as a whole, And but IT sector have had a rough patch in the quarter gone by. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.